Well, Florida's first body farm now up and running in Pasco County. It's a place for forensics investigators to study what happens to human bodies when they decompose. And new tonight, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler shows us how it will have a special meaning for a Pasco County family. Abigail Kennedy and her two children miss her husband more than words can say. We definitely were a very close family. Um, it's really hard with the kids. Adam Kennedy, a dedicated principal at Cruz Lake Middle School, died in a crash on the way to work in January. Teaching was his passion, and now Adam's remains will help teach at this new research facility named in his honor. He liked to teach anybody anything at any time. And so um, the fact that this can continue it makes everything a little bit better. The Adam Kennedy forensics field will study how human bodies decompose, helping investigators figure out cause of death in different scenarios. It's the first of its kind in Florida, and USF anthropologist Dr. Aaron Kimmerly looks forward to studying here. We do a lot of work for law enforcement medical examiners trying to locate buried remains, excavate them from crime scenes. Abigail says she talked with Adam about what to do after they passed away. He thought a medical school was the only option, but being part of this research has become a comfort in a time of great sadness. The timing of it is just like answers to like this is what because you always wonder why now, why um, and all of that. And this is a huge part of that, that answer for me. 30 people have pre-registered to donate their bodies. The facility has four so far, including Adams. It's really a tremendous gift to give. Researchers now will start using this field and wooded area located near the Pasco County Jail. Plans are also in the works for a new training facility next door. In Land O'Lakes, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.